it rain. We're gonna have to sell more cows. We're gonna or do y'all want these available? How does that happen? It's like David Copperfield stuff. Thinking it's not so bad today. I think I was wrong. I'm sure some of y'all will disagree with this. Good morning. Good morning. It's it's sunny. It's not, it's a little cloudy, but it's still bright. Um, I am here with all the pups. All the pups, including, including body work. Lady somewhere around here. Anyway, um, happy to be back. Happy to be back. Y'all, I've been gone for four days. Or surprise, sorry, sorry, five days. I was gone for five days. Um, made a trip. I think I, I think I mentioned it in my last video that I was going down to the river to visit with my Aunt Noni and then we were possibly going to the Outer Banks. Well, we did. We made an overnight trip to Ocracoke, drove around the North Way, down the Outer Banks, got to see all these places from Manio to Nags Head to, we went to Body Island Lighthouse and there was Avon and I don't know, all the places, then down to Hatteras and then took the little ferry over to Ocracoke. Spent the night, had the most amazing time truly soul filling um time with my aunt uh we cried but we we cried because we were laughing basically the entire time just just an amazing weekend and i wouldn't trade it and now i'll cry <laughs> i love you aunt Oni. i wouldn't trade it for anything um it was just so good i told her it was it was like being with my mom it was it was like being with my mom it always feels like that being with her and my other aunt when i can be with her family so anyway, we had an amazing trip and it was, it was honestly like God just went before us and laid everything out and everything just went so smoothly and so perfectly from the ferry ride, not having to wait three hours, literally driving right on the ferry from Hatteras to Ogrecoke, which evidently never happens. Literally drove on the ferry, last vehicle took off within five minutes. Um, anyway, <laughs> from that, just the whole weekend laid out perfectly. Had a beautiful time, stayed an extra night at the river once we got back, uh, since I didn't get much time there, and got an extra day with her, and um, it was perfect. It was literally perfect. So, that's that. Two minutes of that. I'm oh, sorry. Um, you know how I am. And then, um, home. Home now. And obviously, our country is a... We dodged, dodged a bullet, literally. Uh, President Trump dodged a bullet that we found out about that when we got off the ferry, and that was... All sorts of emotions with that thank god he's okay so many prayers for the family uh the victim that sweet man that 50 year old husband and father that and son that was killed and um the others that i believe are still in critical condition uh just and for this the condition of our country um i've made posts about that and my other platforms and we'll continue to pray can just continue to pray at it's it's what we can do, y'all. We pray. We pray and remember that God's in control. And um, he always has been and he always will be. But he hears our prayers. And he answers prayers. Um, so, yeah. That's that. And and now I'm here and I'm walking. I'm getting a little walk-in. Well, the light's bad that way. I'm getting a little walk-in. And um, what was I? I feel like I was going somewhere. Oh, I know. I was getting up here. So... While I was gone, you know that we have been in a very, I would say severe drought. We've been in a, a, our whole state is, basically our whole state is in moderate to bad drought. So, um, Lawrence had told me when I talked to him Friday morning, he said, uh, if we don't get rain today, there was a really good chance to rain. So if I don't get, we don't get rain, just be prepared. We're going to have to sell more cows. We're going to have to buy hay this winter. You know, all the things. <laughs> Bless his heart. That afternoon... Uh, an evening that day we got 2.8 inches thank you lord thank you thank you 2.8 inches um so needed so appreciated so things are popping now wesley's about to take out uh, take off and go mow our neighbor's grass that farm down the road um for the first time in three or four weeks and um i'll need to do some crop checking with lawrence here before long we'll go see what the corn and the beans and the new hay looks like um, I noticed that he cut the matua up here yesterday. I haven't even talked to him about that. And then also, evidently, it was a pretty bad storm at some point because he said when they came out the other day, there was this huge tree down and um, they had to get that out before they could even go. Oh, I know, it was Saturday. They went to the lake. They did go to the lake. They took the boat and 
went tubing and swimming, even though they said the lake water was 92 degrees. <laughs> That's not very refreshing, but um, we're still in some really high heat, but it's supposed to cool down and another chance for rain in the next few days. So we hope we get more, um, but yeah, this tree was across the road and he had to push that away. So it's never a dull moment. I hope y'all are well. I hope you're well. Dog, dog everywhere. Okay, I'm in the middle of making Wes a sandwich. And um, I just made me think, I, I mentioned this on my um, stories last night, but I need to say it here because it was probably one of y'all that sent this. Made your happy mail yesterday. Four, four squeeze tubes of Deke's mayonnaise. Uh, the only mayonnaise as far as we're concerned. <laughs> I, some of y'all have been telling me about this blue blue plate. We don't have that here, so I can't I can't compare. But anyway, if one of you sent this to us, thank you so much. You know we love it, and um, we don't have to worry about running out right now. <laughs> so that's awesome. I'm making him a sandwich. He's on his way home from mowing, and then we're going to town. We got errands to run. I got to go to the um, Main Street, the consignment store where I sell some stuff in town and swap out some prints. Actually, I'm going to put some prints in there that I don't have even on my site. So maybe I'll show you that when we go. And, um, yeah, just run some errands. Y'all, it's so hot out there. It's really gross. I think um, Lawrence is going to town maybe to buy some brakes. I see you've got the Durango up on the jacks. The Durango and my Chevy, both my, my old truck, both need brakes. Some kind of bad. So that is this week's project one of this week's projects so i told him you should just wait till it cools down <laughs> like in a few days but um yeah i guess not i guess he's gonna get after it so probably gonna have to help with that and um i don't know y'all it's just it's just hot it's just hot okay here we are main street um art collective and i changed out some of the pictures so there's this one a little glare and I added this one and I'm doing this uh, this one is I think I'm gonna have to put this in the house this is really pretty I might have to put these in the store do y'all want these available in the store if you're in Danville you can come get them here but um yeah she's got an awesome shop here I can't remember I think I've showed this place before but the owner's not here she I just missed her Cheryl Cheryl sorry I lost my voice Austin wanted to get her soap. She loves this soap. We'll give him a shout out. What's it called? Who makes it? Sun and Spruce. Sun and Spruce. Hand, handmade soap. And they smell really, really good. Really, really good. Locally made. Everything in here is local artisans. I mean, it's, it's really cool. I just told Wesley we need to get some of his leather, leather stuff in here. We're going to do that. We'll figure that out. Add it here to our little display. So, anyway. That's that. All right, y'all, I'm home alone, which never happens. The kids have gone to church. Uh, Will took them tonight, so I didn't drive them. And then Lawrence is down in the bottom with the local co-op spraying some beans. But I want to show you this. My son just gave me this a little while ago before he left. Look what he's made now, y'all. It's called like a mystery leather bracelet. Mystery bracelet? Because, let me show you. This blew my mind. I don't know how you do this. Okay, so you look at this end, you think, well, okay, you just like would split it and you would braid, 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 but then how does that happen? This is like David Copperfield stuff, right? I don't know. I told him I want to watch him make one. So anyway, um, he has social media. He has, I mean, he has, he's named his company Hair Trigger Leather. <laughs> I love it. Um... And he has a Facebook and he has an Instagram, Hair Trigger Leather. And you can um, you can email him at, what is it? I can't remember, but it, it's Hair Trigger Leather. I'll put it, I'll put it on here. I'll put it in the description. Anyway, he's making keychains and this and, um, well, he's made phone holders and phone cases. And I don't know, he's working on a bunch of different things, but these are cool, right? Yeah, okay. Just wanted to give my son a shout out there. I love my bracelet. 
I'm going to play in the pool now. I thought I was going to be able to do like a crop check tonight with Lawrence, but that didn't work out because of the spraying. So maybe tomorrow night we can ride around and show you how things are looking since we got that little bit of rain. A good bit of rain. One time though. <laughs> um, and and hoping that we get some more. He did cut that matua yesterday, but it was not enough to do anything with. He just cut it. He just cut it because he said the Johnson grass was about to seed out and he didn't want it to seed out. He wanted the matua to keep seeding out itself. So um, anyway, it's kind of been a dud, hasn't it? Yes, it has. All right, let me just talk to myself and answer myself. And that's, that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of where we're at. All right. Check the hay. We're gonna have to bring in some hay. Good morning, fellas. All right, he's got to get the um, take the Durango down, move it so he can bring the tractor and get some hay out there. always um gotta gotta do eight things before you can do one thing around here you had some water left over from last night so we're gonna put it in here because this had another leak the other day but they permanently fixed it they said so i guess we'll find out hey <laughs> doesn't take much to entertain me yeah it cuts all over you why do you let them pick on you so much I just had to flip that and roll it and flip it. And might have <laughs> made it hard to breathe a second. And all of a sudden it just got very, very hot and itchy. Oh my gosh. I was thinking it's not so bad today, but I think I was wrong. What is it, Dig? What are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm waiting for something to eat, Mom. You too? All right, y'all. We're about to throw down. We're about to throw down tonight. Um, we just had, I see some dark clouds. And, well, there was sunshine. And I saw a little bit of rain. We had a little bit of rain coming down out there. Um, okay, the boys... The boys are out there. I think they're working on the dot Durango. I don't know. He said he got $1,300 worth of brakes today for two vehicles. So that's great. I said, well, if you'd had somebody do it, it probably would have cost $4,000. So <laughs> trying to find the bright side here, y'all. Um, anyway, this is what we're doing tonight. Let me show you. We got hamburger steak, gravy, onions, mashed potatoes and corn fresh corn from our neighbors down at the river peggy and craig thank y'all so much so this is how my aunt and i did it the other night and let me tell you it works wonderfully okay this is called carolina sweet this is hot too all right i'm gonna have to hold it with some tongs so i've never really done corn this way i always either i've been doing it in the instapot i used to always boil it so, you know, that's just like extra heat in the kitchen. It takes a long time. I did um, 10 ears in like 12 minutes. I actually did it two more minutes, like 14. I think they were probably done, but I was just, you know, going for good measure. Um, and it's so good and it keeps them hot and um, use a little cellophane. I'm sure some of y'all will disagree with this, but let me know. Do you do your corn this way? Because I'm thinking this is the trick. I'm thinking this is the trick, right? Yeah. All right, let's find some butter because you can't have corn without butter and um, call the troops in. Oh, Austin's Austin's out in my crib playing her guitar. She'll be back soon, I think. Yeah, she's she's been doing that a lot. I love it. I love hearing her play up. She's been playing the electric guitar upstairs. Do I have some? Oh, I thought I had, I had some hair coming out there. Um, playing his electric guitar upstairs, but the acoustic guitar out in a good acoustic guitar out in the crib and um anyway i love that they're both playing so much it's really the leaves are starting to turn up and it's thundering this is a good sign this is good 
our door is sticking because it's uh, because of the um, humidity. The door is just totally sticking. We can't even hardly open it. What are y'all excited about? Have y'all seen this? Dinner bell. Yeah, they're working on the dryer. Okay, I got a thumbs up. So it was another hot and humid when I already told you that. Um, tomorrow, it's supposed to be 10 degrees cooler. It's supposed to be 83. Today's high was like 93, which was 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. So we're just, we're doing good now. Um, but it's so humid. So anyway, hopefully, hopefully it feels good tomorrow. I really want to ride my horse. I really want to ride my horse because it's been two weeks. Um, so... Here's hoping. Look at here. Yeah, there's some hope up. The oh, did y'all see that? I actually caught some lightning. What are the chances? Oh, I just realized my dad sent me pictures of his limelight hydrangea blooming. And I looked the other, I hear you. I looked the other day and mine hadn't started, but it has started too. See that dad? It's not quite as pretty as yours, but it's not as old as yours either, so there's two of them there. What do you got? I mean, you got to pee on all my, all my plants. I don't appreciate it. And these day lilies have played out, but they were so pretty. They were so pretty for a couple weeks anyway, so everything runs its course and everything's drying up. Okay, y'all. Well, um, we had a sure enough thunder storm and it rained and it is muggy but it rained hey puppies so um our digital our digital what do you call it rain gauge is not working right now i think it needs batteries again anyway so oh you already poured it out i was gonna come look at it how much half inch i said that i said i bet we got a half inch so i was coming out here to look at the the old school um, rain gauge. Okay, we'll take it, right? Yep. Okay, y'all, it is time to get ready for bed and that means I'm going to wash my face. I've never done anything like this before and I don't plan to take you along for the whole washing, but I did promise a couple weeks ago or whenever it was recently to show you more about some of the new products that I was trying from my wellness box that I received. And um, there's so many, there's, I, my, my collection is growing so big, but these are the things that I ordered that I hadn't tried yet. So this is Sabella, this is makeup remover, this is a amazing face scrub. So it's got like the little beads in it. Um, it's an exfoliating scrub. I used this the other night. I kid you not, I had to run to Austin's room make her look at my, I haven't used it yet tonight, but make her look at my face and touch it. It was like polished. Okay. It's the best scrub I've ever used. And we, me and her both have tried several of them. And then there's a soothing foam cleanser. It smells so good. All these things smell so, oh, you can't smell it. You have to take my word for it or you have to try it yourself. And then I also got this brightening cream. So this is a 20 SPF sunscreen brightening cream and you just put it on under your makeup. I also love their makeup remover pads. I'm getting very low. Um, I use eye primer every day because I have oily lids. It's just one of the things. Um, I love their uh, eyeliner. I'm a snob about eyeliner. I've tried all the expensive brands. This is amazing price, amazing product. And then I also use their Mascara. I've also been a mascara snob for several years. Um, hey, while I'm at it, I'll just show you this. I mean, the collection is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this is their dry shampoo. Love it. Also, I've tried so many over the years. Finishing spray, hairspray. It smells like coconut. I mean, need I say more? This. Oh, this is a small one of the hairspray. And this is their mousse. I'm trying to think what else. I've got shampoo. We've got We've got, what else do we have? Hot iron prep spray. This is like what you put on before you, um, hot, before you use a blow dryer or the curling iron or whatever, some heat, 
heat spray, heat protectant spray is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, all these products are amazing and um, I'm loving them and I can't say enough good things about them. So if you are looking for clean, natural products that do not break the bank, that are made in America, that are supporting people like you and me, <laughs> um, it's the way to go. Okay. There you go. You can find them all at switchwithmaris.com. I'll wash my face. I'll let you see it all clean without any makeup at all, even though there's not a whole lot left at the end of the day as it is. Anyway, okay. Here's a makeup remover. I just put some on my finger and put it on and dry my face. And then we will wet it and we will follow up with the foam cleanser and we'll be fresh and clean. Wet mascara. It's gone. Easy peasy. I am. I'll be out in a minute. I'm washing my face. Life with one bathroom. It's character building. Okay. There we go. Already. That's the bag.